Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to our first episode of Mayberry Heavy Hauling. Um, we just got done with a job here where we are moving the shed for the owners of the uh, apartment building here. Um, but we just got a call about a truck that has run over our bridge near the main street. Um, some of our crew are already there, so we're going to head over there. So we're just going to uh, get everything sorted here. Hope you guys are having a great start to your day. This is going to be our new series, uh, Heavy Hauling. As you can see, we've got a uh, TriStar here. Um, it's a Western uh, with the Canada flag on it. You know, I'm, I don't know if you already knew, but I uh, probably didn't know, but I'm Canadian, so I had to wrap the Canada. Just reverse and get out of here. Okay guys, so we're going to head over there. We're not too far from the scene, luckily. Apparently it's bad where the truck is either hanging over the water or is in the water. So this is going to be interesting. We're just going to turn our lights on and just get there. It's obviously an emergency. I probably should be doing it closer to, but I just feel like it kind of justifies the speeding knowing that this could be a bad scenario we're coming to. Make a left up here. really love the uh, background this maps, the trees, and the mountains in the background, just really well done. Oh, I guess the light's down there, looks like it's just ahead. So as I said guys before, the team's already there. Uh, we've already got a wrecker on the scene. Um, we have our emergency uh, tow trucks there. I don't know the full story of why the truck is in the water or by the bridge, but let's take a look. There's a wrecker, a 50 ton wrecker. Got a cruiser, our emergency unit there. Got another flatbed. Got a supervisor car, a um, Ford. Let's take a look, guys. How's it going? Oh, wow. So guys, this is going to be very, this is a bad one, I wonder what happened. Well luckily it's not in the water, so that's going to be a lot better. Um, talk to our supervisor quick. Oh really? Really? So, okay. So guys, apparently there's a BMW here. I guess they cut the truck off and it caused them both to kind of go different directions and panic. It looks like, as you guys can see, the BMW ended up here. And that makes sense why our uh, supervisor called in an extra flatbed there. I don't know if you guys seen it on the right. Talk to the officers, officer here, see what, what he wants us to do. Okay, guys, so we're going to deal with the truck first and then we're going to get the flatbed going. Um, I'm just going to talk to a supervisor, see what he wants us to do, or he agrees. Okay, so he agrees. Um, we're going to tow, we're going to attach our wrecker and the TriStar, and I think we're going to uh, deal with the truck first. I think we'll move the trailer, we'll maybe attach one to the trailer, and then one to the truck. That way we can just kind of stop it from sliding in the water. Okay, I'm just going to bring this over. Yeah, I think if we hook it to each side, it'll just be one the back, one the side there. I think it'll just be better. That way the chair doesn't fall in the water. Oh, almost knocked it in. Nobody's seen that. Thinking it through in my head and didn't realize the back there. Put these out. This will just add the extra support. 
So the other problem we'll run into is if we go too far out, it just kind of counters the balance where the, where these trucks aren't as heavy as they should be. Um, we are going to take keep this series as realistic as we can. So I mean, we gotta we gotta do it the right way. But I'm gonna move our unit here in place. So the first one there, the record is just up and down. It can't move to the side. This is a tri-star. Um, got the extra turn, turning wheels there, as you can see, the extra axle. Uh, but this will allow us to kind of turn, getting in, getting in certain angles, and just get the job done. I don't want to do this. Um, Here. So as you guys can see too, the team responded pretty quick. Basically the roads closed, our goal is to get the roads open. Um, it looks like the person that was already involved was the ambulance is gone. Um, so we're going to back the, this other record up. This is our 50 ton record. Oh, you know what guys, I'm getting them mixed up. This is this, so this is our record, but it can't turn. Our other one, can, the one on the left there, the other uh, western, it can actually turn. I'm getting them mixed up. So, so, so I'm hoping with all three, this will be no problem. I prefer to not lift the tractor off. I think we're going to... Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll attach it to the tractor. Yeah, we'll attach one to the tractor, and then uh, the other one to the trailer. I think that's what we'll end up doing. Okay, so we got the first hook attached. We're going to attach the second one to the tractor. Okay, so we got the second one attached. Okay, so we got them both attached. Um, so I think we'll do two on the truck and then one on the tractor. I think we'll end up doing. That way we can make sure we definitely pull it up. So we'll bring this up, extend it out. I think we'll go higher. Mm. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, we're gonna attach it. Okay, there we go. We got attached, guys. Do this one now. So with these these uh, wreckers, um, we'll just bring this up. Um, the way these work is to attach each one or control each one, you have to hop in and out of the vehicles. So you're going to see me hop pretty frequently out of in and out of vehicles. Um, just going to position this one a little bit better. I just want to be able to pull it out. I'm hoping too, if we raise the tractor, um, I'm hoping, oh, just took this hand out. Hoping that with the tractor, um, pull that up it'll just be easy for these two to kind of push it out or sorry pull it out so we'll attach it up okay and we get the two attached so those are going to be our main ones to pull to this bad boy now let's raise it up uh, so we need to go higher so do so we're gonna go higher at this one because I do want to lift it up. Just not sure about the position. Thinking maybe moving it. Okay, just take a moment. This will hook it up. Okay, we're hooked, guys. So we got all three hooked. Change the position. Uh, I guess we'll just try like this, maybe. Yeah. So I'm hoping 
we can just pull it. Hoping we can just pull this out with no problems. Okay, so we're doing our first pull. We got the end of the Oh, apparently it's lifting the trailer up. Yeah, just... Yeah. Oh, that's from the truck. Um, so we are pulling it by the tractor, right? I'm not too sure why the trailer is moving. We're going to try and pull... Oops. Off the wrong one. We're going to try and pull the trailer... Oh, the truck back now. The other thing with this mod too, if anybody ends up flying around with it, you have to have the engine on um, for the winch to work as well. You gotta also hit B for the winch to turn on, but the engine of the truck has to be on too. Okay, just pulling it in. Oh. Okay, alright. Got some weight to it. Oh, oh. Just lift the truck up there. Hoping lifting. Okay, it's losing the whole trailer up. It's supposed to be just a tractor. Um, I'm hoping this will kind of make it easier to move it though. Move it back closer to the road. Oh, just a tip. So, uh, I guess we'll pull it up. Yeah, we'll just pull it up so we can get it back. Fight it. We're pulling, we're pulling. The hops in over there. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna ask the car officer to move just so we can uh, I'm not gonna damage his car. Thank you, officer. Let's try. Okay, we'll try bringing it up more, a little bit more here and then I'll hop back in the other wrecker, the other, the other TriStar, and then we'll um, try and pull it up a little bit. Let's see if we can. It's, it's hanging more in the air now, so it should be a little easier to kind of pull it without taking us with it. Yeah, there it goes, man. We got this. Let's so add some more. It's about 50 ton wrecker. This is supposed to be the beast of them all. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa! That is not good, folks. That is not good. Oh, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. I'm just trying to yank it. Oh, it's going up a little bit, little by little. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. We're trying to get this. We want to get these roads cleared up. Oh, it's coming. Some progress. Oh, let's go, let's go. Again, it's guys. Uh, I'm not to the trailer either. It's funny the track just lifting up. I'm just gotta deal with the scenario. A little buggy. Let's try. Oh, now the trailer. Now. The tractor is now gone. Oh, we're tipping, we're tipping. No, 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 no. Back, back. Oh, oh. Okay, so we got it. Oh. I swear, this is like a magic show. We're just lifting the tractor up. Oh, there goes the baby. Luckily, the police got the road closed too, so we can kind of, We got to rush this, but we kind of we got some room to play. Oh. Come on, come on. Oh, we got it moved over a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. That's exactly what uh, what I wanted to do. <laughs> All right, right. Get on the road more. So we'll bring this wrecker forward. This one. Let's see if we can more. Let's see. I'm just gonna try the pulling. This is the, the uh, 
reeling it in just seems to be tipping us because of the, the weight of it. Okay, we'll just hop back in the try and start here. Look. Okay, there we go. Apparently, it turned us this eager. So, we are officially away from the water. Oh, almost. I'm just gonna move this so it's not landing on our actual truck. Oh, tracking him down. Oh, tip him with tip him. Let's see what that got. Okay, guys. Bit of a mess, but we at least got it off the water of the river there, that's good. Okay guys, we're just going to move this off the trailer. Uh, we're going to bring another unit in to uh, load it back up and take the load. Uh, we are going to keep it going for, uh, so this is a John Deere delivery. Uh, we spoke with the company. So I'm just going to move, we're going to move this off to the side just so we can pull the truck off and get it back to the shop in Missouri and then we're going to Bring in one of our uh, our trucks in, and we'll load it back up. Uh, let's get this hook on. It does not want to come off, guys. Okay, so we got it off. Um, we're gonna back this up. We got the keys, obviously. We're gonna back it up. Get it out of the way. Move. So we've got a freight liner nearby uh, waiting. We're going to tow the truck, um, John Deere truck, or the load. It's not a John Deere, but the warrior that is, it's a warrior mod. Um, that's the John, represented by John Deere. It's going to bring our 50 ton, uh, oh, 50 ton. I, I guess it's funny with these, uh, I don't know if anybody else's experience is just funny with these bigger trucks. Sometimes they just don't stop. Um, as you see there, we're going to line this up and then we're going to tow the truck uh, just kind of off to the side because we still got to open up this road. So, we got to do this ASAP, get this, get this going. So, let's position it. There we go. Pulling in the winch. It's looking good. Okay, so we just want to pull. It's not really hooked properly, I, but I just want to hook to the oh, It's stuck on the trailer. Okay, so we got a picture of everything and we're going to tow it, so we're just going to put it over here for now. We're just going to close off this right lane, um, just kind of have everything get that lane back open. Um, luckily, the officers have been diverting traffic down there, as you see, they'll be our left on technically our left right now. Um, the city, the law enforcement, uh, very, very easy to work with, we appreciate it, and they'll always, uh, they know they can rely on us to help clear the scene up very fast. Yeah, so we'll just leave it there for now. We're going to clear everything up. Um, with the supervisor's vehicle up here too, this will be a good kind of hazard for anybody come going up. Because technically this side of the road is not closed down. So this will kind of got our uh, lights still going. Let's turn that off. Okay, there we go. Um, so... This. So we're going to grab the um, freight liner. We'll bring it over. Really like this freight liner as well too. I hope that's got the beacons as well. Um, it's got the uh, I think it's called the Detroit motor in it as well. So I mean it's got some power to it as well. Just a nice kind of overall look. Back up here, connect. 
I think the easiest way for us to do is to just go on that side road. So we'll just squeeze by uh, the lieutenant's cruiser here, or uh, Chevrolet cruiser, and make a ride here. Okay, so pull up here. I feel like this is better, that way we can open up the roads faster. Is like the deal. And then at least the tractor is like right there too, so we can just back it up nicely on there and make sure they get that delivery. Squeeze in there. Once we're done loading up the tractor too, we'll pull it to the side and uh, the trailer, pull the trailer to the side there, and the road, and then uh, we gotta load up the BMW as well too. We're gonna take that as well. He's been uh, apparently I've been updated to DUI. Um, the truck driver has been rushed to the hospital. Hit his head really good. Um, apparently we've gotten word uh, he's doing okay though. Like he's responsive. Um, they think at worst maybe a concussion. Um, the BMW though, uh, for him he's fine. He's been uh, a DUI intoxicated. So they've already taken him off on a cruiser. So we're just going to take the vehicle. <clears throat> Pretty easy. We're almost done. For now, guys, we'll throw this uh, this beast of a machine over here as well. Maybe we'll just pull up right behind the uh, supervisor's car. Because, I mean, the beacons are uh, bigger on here than the slugs on the Yeah. I mean, if somebody plows into us at that point, you gotta have epilepsy or something when you're having a seizure. And the lights are just spazzing on. Got the road blocked off there, so we can kind of rearrange everything quickly. Bring this back over here too. We'll park it near the front, I guess. Yeah. Slow. I don't want to sit too far out. Hope you guys are enjoying the series, or this first episode, I should say, of the Heavy Honk series. Uh, we're going to be Starting it off in this town, and then we'll do some other longer calls. We'll be doing some different various towing, it's basically wherever dispatch gives us. Uh, we are all about emergencies as well, so if there's any crashes or anything, too, we're going to be on the scene. Uh, as you can see, we got a fast response team. I was at another job and got the call and came over, and yeah, my team was already there. It was just a great group of people. So we got an old park there. Just head back over here. So move, yeah, move here. Um, I don't want to do this way. There. Yeah, we'll park it here. Thinking here. Yeah. Pretty legit. I mean, yeah. I think that's pretty legit. Like we're still giving people warnings that the uh, first lane on the right lane is kind of like emergency vehicles only right now. So I think that's pretty legit. This is our big U response here. Okay, so we're in our freight miner. Uh, I'm sorry, freight line and flatbed here. We're gonna deal with the uh, BMW now. Uh, we're gonna do this carefully. Hoping we can just reverse and lower it. The car is still drivable, so we're gonna drive it right up to the uh, up the back there. Just want to do it without damaging any property here. Uh, luckily, we uh, we got the information for the owners. Well, I guess the insurance and stuff will cover it, but just for like the grass, it'll be destroyed. But. So this looks good. Just talking to the officer and making sure where he wanted to take it. So we're going to take this car to the impound, the police impound. Just going to reverse it. Got to admit, the M3s, can't hate on them. It's a nice, nice car overall. Oh, well, that was a speed of power there. Maybe you reverse a little too fast. Just trying to do that slowly. So we got it all loaded, guys. Um, we're gonna take this off too. We're gonna head over to the uh, police station with it. Um, 
the roads are now kind of open, which is great. Uh, just wanted to thank you guys if you watched the video. I hope you guys like it. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a comment, uh, any feedback I love. I appreciate it. Um, any questions, if you're looking for the mods, feel free to comment. Uh, I'll be the best I can. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I look forward to more of this series. This is the uh, Mayberry Heavy Hauling series, slash you can almost say Rescue series. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.